Hey, good afternoon, everybody. This is Andrew Giovinazzi with OptionPit.com, a CEO, trader of options for 30 years, member of CBO and PCX for 15 years, now director of education and CEO at OptionPit.com. And again, if you have questions, uh, go over to OptionPit.com, like or subscribe to our channel if you like this kind of education. Today's subject is the very enticing, when do puts get assigned? I see some stuff on Twitter where people are like, oh, one of my puts going to get assigned. I don't know my puts going to get assigned. All right. So this is the thing. The first thing you got to know, right? Here's some key things. Uh, you have American or European exercise. If they're out the money or not into expiration, the idea of synthetic equivalence. Uh, again, is the put post ex div, meaning the day after ex dividend. And also understanding how cost of carry works. And they're going to walk through a example with snow. So first thing is American exercise is what? You can be assigned any, any short option with American exercise. You can be assigned any time. Now, if you saw my other video that is posted to the option pit channel on when a call gets assigned, you know it's not random. It's just not, you know... Um, it's not arbitrary. A liquidity provider is only going to exercise for a reason. Um, because when you exercise a call, a liquidity provider, from their point of view, they're synthetically selling puts and they're just not going to do that for no reason. Again, check that video out. And also this will make this video um, a little easier to understand. So American exercise, right? It can be assigned anytime. Anytime, anytime. exercise so the thing is european is they're going to be assigned on expiration only european exercise are mostly the big indexes right so vix spx rut ndx etc right and there's some other european exercises xsp but just just so you understand like it's mostly cash settled or european Now, a big reason the OEX, which was a cash index prior, the, it was the OEX 100, the S&P 100, kind of went the way of the Dodo is because uh, they had the early exercise feature. It was American exercise, and the exercise was a big deal back then. Another video. All right. The next thing is at the money. So the liquidity provider into expiration, right, or a retail customer can choose not to exercise. There's no guarantee about exercise. So the your your broker like a Schwab or a TD Ameritrade or you know Trade Hawk, they will automatically assign you a penny in the money. That's your broker assigning for you. Your your right your the other side of the trades. Let's say you're short these puts and you're trying to figure out if you're going to. The liquidity provider can decide how many they want to exercise at any time and even at expiration. So if they think the stock's going to be up the next week on a Monday, they'll they'll decide not to exercise their puts on a Friday. So when you're at the money, right? You don't know. You don't know. Right? So they they could be right? You don't know. Uh, you don't know. I don't know. question, right? It's a big it's a question mark. The only way um Again, to guarantee is to close your short put and buy the stock if you want to take delivery. So, you know, closing and taking delivery, closing and replacing. Replacing is a sure thing, right? You're going to close your short put and then buy the stock if you don't, you know, if you don't think you're going to get it. Um, so, again, the liquidity provider, they will choose. Remember with synthetic equivalents, again, I was have you look at the call video. When a liquidity provider exercises a put, something happens to their position. This is what happens. They're long puts. They are now going to sell the put out by exercising, makes the long put to no put is like a put sale, and they're going to get short stock for that. So they're now going to have the change in their position net will be 
they're going to acquire short stock and a net and they're a net short put change. The synthetic equivalence of a short put and short stock is a short call. So anytime a liquidity provider, and that's who's taken 99% of the trades that you're doing, the other side, when they decide to exercise, they're going to be adding short call contracts to their position synthetically. Basically, synthetic calls they owned are going to go away. So they're not just going to exercise willy-nilly. They need something for that. So here, and I'll give you a rule here in a second, but in the reason is because they are synthetically selling calls to their position. They're not going to do that for nothing. The most likely time, again, most likely time is right on the day of XD. The reason why is on XD day, you have to own the stock by that day. But also if I'm long puts, I can exercise that put and get the short stock rebate, which I'll describe in a second. So the day of XD is usually a day, this is usually an exercise day. An assignment day for short puts on a div paying stock. Okay. Now, why is this? Because liquidity providers, when they sell stock, they short stock, that's like loaning stock to them, right? They're loaning stock to the clearing firm. They get a short balance rebate. That's a substantial amount of money now that interest rates are four and a half percent. It could be a very large amount of money if they have to exercise 100 or 200 calls on an expensive stock. So when they exercise, they're looking for interest rebate. There is a reason. So when they exercise their put, they're going to get short stock and they're looking for an interest rebate. This is something liquidity providers do regularly. So from a cost of carry point of view, how you figure that out is how much rebate they're going to get, right, would be the value of, all my alerts are going off like crazy, the value of the strike times the rebate value here, which is I'm saying is 4.5%. Again, using this formula, which is 11 days to expiration on the May 17, 200 puts when I did this video. So you divide 11 by 360 times 0 0.045 times 200. The reason I, you could use 365, the reason I'm just using 360 is when you have month, you can do it fast when you have, let's say 30 days, 60 days, 90 days like that. Um, so this would be a roughly 27 and a half cents. Now, if I had my, there we go. And here I am looking at live vol. We got a little screaming market here. So May 17, the 200s. So this put, right? Why, why is there still a seven cent bid for these options, right? Because when the liquidity provider, eventually these puts will be assigned. Because when the liquidity provider exercises these, if they're getting four and a half percent rebate, they're going to get 27 and a half cents in carry cost to them. That's why they'll pay seven and cents here to cover the risk. So the rule is, okay, and the rule is, I can find my right sheet. So the rule in general here for synthetic equivalence is if the, uh, uh, the uh, short rebate value, well, we can call it just the cost of carry, but it's the short rebate value, is greater than the value of the call on the strike Okay, you the strike is likely to exercise. The strike is likely an assignment. So again, it's not random, it's mathematics, and it's what the liquidity provider can get, right? What they get is short rebate. If they're long tons of calls, they feel like they can loosen up. That also gets rid of some stock in their book. It lowers the cost of... Um, it lowers the carry cost of their positions because now all of a sudden they've got a huge amount of short stock and rebate coming in. So these are the things you need to know when puts get assigned. To recap, mostly you're worried about American exercise. If you're at the money near expiration on expiration day, you don't know. The only way you can know for sure is if you close and replace by stock. That's a sure thing. Synthetic equivalence means from a liquidity provider point of view, when they exercise, it's like they're selling a call. When they exercise a put, 
It's like them selling a call. So they're not going to do it for no reason. The most common day in general in a dividend paying stock is the day of XD, right? Because that will give them the most carry value, right? So they're optimizing uh, their rebate. Cost of carry uh, calculation is easy. It's time times rate times strike. And here in our example, uh, I'm using 11 days to expiration, 4.5% rebate, and a 200 stike is roughly 27.5 cents. Um, with, the, with the puts or with the calls trading for 9 cents, the fact that that one person hasn't uh, exercised those uh, puts, they're basically given money. All right. So that is when your puts are going to get assigned. This is Andrew Giovinazzi from optionpit.com. Come check us out. YouTube, like us, subscribe. There it is. Have a good day.